Hey, it's uh, Sean Sean here. I'm about ready to go to the gallery. Probably do a new painting. I think I might do um, abstract again, so we'll see where it goes. Wish me luck. Thanks. I just came to the local pond out here. Um, but if you have, check out my other video, I did do another uh, kind of time lapse of this area, which is really cool. Um, you got a lot of wildlife, as well as uh, you got the highway in the background, so it makes really interesting shots. So, gonna get inspired here and see what you can find. Uh, we're going to the gallery today. Uh, probably going to work on, uh, I think, abstract. I'm going to give another another uh, try on the uh, 11 by 14 canvas board. Uh, last video, as you remember, um, you know, I did my Metal Mayhem style, which is cool, but um, because of the graininess of the canvas board, they actually had um, quite a few issues as far as um, the style. What I was trying to get the paint to do with those metal tools. So on a panel, if you remember, um, since it's really smooth, it has a really nice scraping quality. When the paint is just right when it's tacky, when it's about ready to stick, but not quite, because you know acrylic eventually bonds all the way through, and you can't really get to the bottom layers. But when it's still a little bit tacky, it's you know past the initial drying, it's a little tacky. You can start scraping through that, and it gives you a really interesting look. So you do have to act quickly. And you always take a risk that maybe the bottom layer is worse than what you're scraping off, but um, I think it's a pretty cool effect. So hopefully I can, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to gesso 
the uh, surface and then uh, get some sandpaper to sand it down so I get much flatter this time. That way when I apply it, it should work out. All right, wish me luck. I uh, hope everything goes good. And remember, I have uh, specials on um, eBay you can go look at too. All right, check you later, thanks. Okay, so what I did here in the back is you saw me putting uh, gesso down. So what this does is I'm gonna try to create a thicker surface, it's, um, not the factory gesso, so which is just a really light coating, which is fine if you're gonna work with that grainy and you're gonna use really thick paint. But since I'm kind of using thinner uh, paint qualities, I'm trying to even that out by applying a really thick gesso and I'm gonna take sandpaper the next day and sand it off. All right, hopefully that works. All right, today we're gonna go fix that canvas, hopefully, sand it down a little bit. As you can tell, the train's followed me here. <laughs> the never-ending cycle of the trains, oh my God. <laughs> All right, man, see you guys inside. All right, so about ready to start the painting. I think I'm gonna skip the sanding. It's pretty flat uh, right now, just smooth to touch, so I'd have to add like several layers. I'd have to actually add probably a paste and then smooth it down, and um, I think it's just good enough uh, for the size and price range is going to be at so wish me luck all right I'm going to start with the colors uh, similar to yesterday so uh, interactive carbon black interactive cadmium orange Amsterdam Primer yellow, titanium white here, interactive crimson, and interactive phthalo blue. on this layer as you can see it's a yellow orange white mixture I put on initially wet gesso so that way the paint really glides across the surface which I thought you know, made a lot more sense I don't know why I didn't think of that yesterday because um, I've heard of that trick before so that's a really good technique you can use and um, I'm gonna let it fully dry get fully baked and then I'm gonna add the blue red black and you know get some really strong uh, contrasting highlights all right wish me luck finished up um, might want to do a little more work on this but we'll see I'm gonna zoom in here so I got this really nice uh, pale yellow fire red orange going to red there a little, little baby blue adding you know some white into that nice uh, phthalo blue to kind of balance out the really intense uh, phthalo blue yeah I think overall it's pretty good um, has a little bit of blue in there, not too much. Uh, a little bit of the purple, I think that's gonna dry a little bit and um, kind of pop tomorrow morning. We'll see how it dries, uh, maybe, 
I think it's pretty good. I just don't want to overwork it. Yesterday, I think I overworked the painting, so I just want to stop a little early. Um, has some really nice stuff in it, so I think, you know, I think people will like it, um, depending if they like abstract art, obviously. <laughs> All my realist fans are going to be like, that sucks, dude. <laughs> anyway, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe below, and uh, hopefully I see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.